The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Shotzi from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. She is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in tonight's match. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. And accompanied by Tegan Knox from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. WWE is her passion, used to wrestle with her brothers in their New Jersey backyard. Now Liv Morgan has come a long way from those backyard competitions. One of the brightest stars in WWE's women's division. Plenty of superstars take pride in where they come from in the mischievous Jersey native. Liv Morgan is no different. Liv credits her Jersey roots for her grit and attitude in the ring. She says knowing that she has all of the 201 behind her is what motivates her to never back down from a fight. You have to respect pride like that. We'll see if Morgan can gain an advantage with her scrappy wrestling style. Then there's Ember Moon from the top. And she goes for the pin. One, two, and she kicks out at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Uh-oh. Way too much. Turns that back on Ember. This could be it. A kick out before the referee can get to one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Face Buster. Liv is heading up top. Hip scissor into the takedown. Corey, what exactly can Liv Morgan do to turn the tide in her favor tonight? Liv needs to lean into her unique ability to create chaos. Liv has a style all her own, and the more she lets that come out to play, the harder it'll be for her opponent to counter her attacks. Into the turnbuckle. Oof, running knee in the corner. Sling blade. Sight set on the top rope. Launching. Everything working against Ember Moon now. I like everything Liv's doing here. Leaning into her chaotic style. She just kicks out. She got so close, she could taste it there. Oh. Oh. Down. What a slam. And Moon somewhat cut off from being able to ramp up her intensity there. Yeah, scrappy Liv Morgan coming through there. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. The Lunar Combo. And she's looking for the win. One, two. Oh, and a kick out. Uh, she kicked out? No way. She actually kicked out? And now she's looking to go top rope. She's getting back up. But she might be down again soon. From way up top. Well scattered by Liv Morgan. Producing a trampling. Ember caught by 
surprise. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. And that failed to hit the mark. Oh, God, face first. Uh-oh, are we going to see it? Got the cross face applied. Uh-oh, the end is near. No way. She Can she take much more? Hold on, maneuvers herself out. Serious peril. No, she counters. Moon rising to the top rope. Ooh, man. Able to interrupt the attack. Down with a suplex. have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. Springboard misses the target. Wow, what a pump kick. Headed to the top rope. From the top, she shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Live off guard. Oh, a clutch. Incredible torque. Liv is completely out of it. You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Can she hang on? She might tap out. Oh, what a reversal. Great move. She needs to get out of here in a hurry. Liv ending this fight right there. sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you tried to end this and failed. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. Face first, oblivion. This sort of win shakes up the women's division. Feed. 